Alico IPF powerlifting competition discs for Strength Shop cast iron plates. These are some of the most expensive plates versus the cheapest. With the Alico plates costing just over four times the price of the Strength Shop plates. Well, what is the difference? To start with, one is a 20 kilogram generic gym plate. The other is a 25 kilogram IPF approved calibrated competition plate. So one is 20 kilogram and the other is 25 kilogram. Wrong. Here we have a 20.2 kilogram plate and a 25 kilogram plate. This is one reason for four times the cost. You may think that you are getting an extra 200 gram for free and this is good, but some plates will be underweight. This can really affect your training. Say you are deadlifting five plates aside, you could be unlucky enough to have all the underweight plates on one side and all the overweight plates on the other. One side would have an extra two kilogram. This is an extreme example, but when going for max weight, you don't want any imbalance. The Alico plates are so precise because two holes are drilled in the back and lead is added until the precise weight is reached. These are then covered with the stickers that you can see here. Now, Let's look at size. Olympic plates should be 450 millimeters in diameter. As you can see from the image, these plates are not the same diameter. The Alico is 450, while the Strength Shop is 445. This is not a lot, but it will affect pickup position when deadlifting. The sleeve opening on the Alico plates snugly fit the bar, while the others are larger and have a clearly visible gap around the barbell. This makes the cheaper plates easier to get on and off, but it also can affect your lifts by having a split second where there is little resistance when pulling from the floor. As you can see here, there is a lot more movement in the cheaper plate. Next, thickness. Even though the Alico plate weighs five kilogram more, it is still thinner and is one of the thinner competition plates, being thinner than the Rogue 25 kilogram plates. Looking at the finish, the Alicos look good and are finished in a vibrant red with bright white writing. This is not how the plates look on their website. As you can see here, they look much better in real life. The strength shot plates have a hammerite type finish and look really good from the front. The thick paint hides any imperfections unlike on the Alecos where on close inspection tiny imperfections can be seen. When looking at the edges of the plate though the opposite can be said. The strength shot plates show small imperfections where the Alico are super smooth. Handling the plates is super easy with the strength shot ones because of the huge lip around the edge. The Alico plates, due to their thinness, only have a tiny lip. This can make them harder to handle, especially if you are not used to them. So which plates should you use? If price is your main limiting factor, then there is no question the budget plates win hands down. And these strength shop ones we used here are some of the best we have seen and cannot be beaten on price. If you can afford more, but are only going to be using them for general training, then we recommend the budget plates. If however, you are a power lifter, strong man, or you want to take your lifting to its absolute maximum, then you need premium plates. They don't have to be a Lico. They were just what we chose to use for this video. Our advice would be to use the plates that the organization you lift in uses. That way 
your training will replicate competition conditions.